All right, so I'm working on this air handler. It's chill water, has face and bypass. And the space was complaining that they, they were too warm. And you see my supply air temp is 61. My chill water valve and my bypass, yeah, we're a good 10 feet open there. But anyways, my face is open, bypass is closed, chill water valve needs 100%. still not getting correct temperature out of this thing and uh, check the chiller plant we got 45 degree water leaving 54 returning the flow is good so I start looking around and come across this all right so shut her down all right so here's our problem we have an air gap in between here. Where we're bypassing our coil. So I gotta try and fill this gap here. And you see our bypass is opening. Now you can see what we're dealing with here. This gap right here, you can clearly see through to the filter. So when this thing's in full open to the coil, we're bypassing this much gap. So the only thing I've got on the truck to try and fill this for right now is some duct strap. So I'm gonna see what I can do to bridge that gap. All right, that's the best I could come up with for now. All right. So our water valve is opening back up. I just turned it back on. Let's check our supply temp. All right, so we were working with about 76, 77 return. You see that supply air is dropping now. I think that little bit's gonna make a big difference here. So when you're bypassing that chill water coil, you can't get 100% of the work out of it. So that's a return to the wall there. This is our outside air, which I just had that shut off for right now just to make up the difference. And uh, filters are relatively clean, but it was that gap for sure. All right, let's check our return. All right, there's our return. So we definitely got a good split there. We'll check back on it in a little bit. All right, we're back. Let's take a check at our return here. It definitely feels better. Take a look at that uh, bypass. Show you another angle here. All right. Definitely heading in the right direction. So I think once uh, the space recovers, 
we'll be able to maintain better temperature now that that gap is closed up. And you can see our water temp. Supply is 45. Roughly 55 return. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for now. We'll uh, probably come back with some, like, two-inch angle or something and really fill that gap in good and tight. Um, and that's about all I can do with it right now at this moment. It is feeling better in there and definitely got better air temperature. So, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. All right. Keep on dropping.